buddy boy. <coughs> Bioshock. Wait, that's that's not right. <laughs> Bioshock. And this was one of the games that I played growing up that genuinely terrified me. In the original game, uh, to end the intro, you you ride that elevator, you get to the very bottom of it, and you're greeted by a man who is getting absolutely gutted alive by one of those splicer things. Now I can tell you with roughly. 1000% accuracy that prepubescent Conroy was shitting himself when that happened, dude. <laughs> and even worse, when that thing started to try and claw into the elevator and get in there, dude, my heart sank. I was so terrified. <laughs> and in my 22 years of life, not once did I think that you would ever be able to play Bioshock in VR. Buddy, I was more surprised than the Academy this week when Will Smith thought it would be hilarious to roleplay as Rick James. <laughs> now that I think about it, that honestly may have been more surprising. <laughs> Alright, now that you guys are through listening to my green screen shenanigans, we can get into the video. <laughs> You aren't going to believe what happened while I was playing this mod, dude. The first time you run into a door that is locked in Rapture, it has a four digit code, to which I instantly responded with, We need a four digit code to get through that door. 6969. Six Here's your four digit code, bud. I have never played this mod before. I have never watched anybody play this mod for Half-Life Alec. Maybe the people who created this mod just know their target demographic to a damn T. But believe it or not, the four digit code to that door actually ended up being 6969. Maybe I'm just psychic or some shit. This was probably the highlight of my time playing this mod. <laughs> code to door is 6969. What door? Are you shit me? Did I? <laughs> Did he just say 6969? Yeah. Dude, I literally guessed that. Am I a f magician? What am I, a fortune teller? Am I from the future, apparently? Holy s***. Not only did I discover that I could see the future while playing this mod, but I also realized that life isn't all unicorns and rainbows. Because soon after this shenanigan played out, I stumbled upon a couple of corpses that were hanging by their necks from the ceiling in an underground sewer. Ah! Oh. Oh. oh god, how does somebody even do that? How do you even get like that, miss? It's like you're taking a nap on your chest, using your chest as a pillow. <laughs> what the f- Stop! Stop it! All jokes aside, I love what the creators of this mod have done. There are so many unique game assets in this mod. The health syringe has a completely new model, which I think looks freaking sick. Why does this guy sound like the hormone monster? <laughs> How did you get out of that f***ing cell? Mm. There are also new guns, which just so happens to be my favorite aspect of every game that I play. In this mod, we got an amazing Rapture Tommy gun model. Oh, this is nice, dude. Very, very good job to the dude who made this 3D model. This is thick. A sweet little German Mauser pistol. You guys need another 3D model to make these Half-Life Alex mods. I've been known to make a pretty damn good gun skin or two, just so you know. As well as a couple randomly encountered weapons that you can't permanently equip. They include a pump-action shotgun. <gasps> Dude. Oh. And a revolver pistol. Let's see what happened at the zoo today, huh? Man f***ed by polar bear, what? <laughs> And even though I said that the weapons are my favorite part of this mod, that is only partly true. What I really appreciate above all else is the humor that is sprinkled into this mod through your indirect interactions with NPCs that are sparking up conversation about the splicer. And especially this hilariously unhelpful fortune teller whose only superpower seems to be pessimism. Um. Did you just say in a past life I did something terrible to somebody? That's all you had to say? <laughs> 
I've said this before and I'm going to say it again. Half-Life Alex is a masterpiece, but when I bought the game, not for one second did I think I would be getting access to Bioshock in VR. I just want to congratulate the creators of this beautiful mod. When I say that this mod makes me weak at the knees, I am not joking around. The amount of detail on this mod is extremely shocking to me. There are so many new and unique 3D assets that were created for this mod and they fit perfectly within the environment and aesthetic of Bioshock. And my favorite model that I found when I was playing through Rapture is actually, it's already in Half-Life Alex, just the OG game, but dude, I never found it. I don't know how, it's a rat. <laughs> Come here, little guy. How you doing, little guy? <laughs> I wish I could put this like on my shoulder and have him as like a, you know, like a parrot. You know what I'm saying? Mwah. I can't get enough of this dude. <laughs> Let's go, pal. The mouse is nice and all, but one little detail that I just couldn't get enough of when I first started playing this mod is the blood pooling that leaks from your enemies' bodies just after you've gunned them down. I'm pretty damn sure this effect was not present in Half-Life Alex because I feel like I definitely would have taken note of that. This small detail adds so much to this mod, it makes you feel like you are that much closer to actually being in the underwater city of Rapture. And if I'm being honest, the blood pooling in this mod looks a whole hell of a lot better better than any other attempts I've seen in VR games that I've played so far. Oh good! Look at that blood! Yes! Trust me, you put one of these babies handle end up someone's ass and basically insta kill. <laughs> I bet this lady got mopped real good. Didn't you ma'am? No! Big Daddy, what did you do? The last thing that I have to note about this mod is how cool the plasmids are. I only found two of them while playing through this mod. The two that I did find were absolutely amazing. One of them was Good Old Fire and the other was Killer Bee, both of which I had an absolute blast using. I ran into Jack Frost during my playthrough too, so that leads me to believe that maybe there's an ice plasmid of some kind? Don't quote me on that. The creators of this mod boast that it has about 15 hours of gameplay. I only played this mod for about four hours this week, you guys will definitely see much more than what I've been able to show you in this video. <laughs> it's like mostly in the d <laughs> Why? Why are you gonna do my guy like that? Who's laughing now, you backstabbing bastard? Oh wow, okay. This was a crime of passion. Thank you for watching this video. There's some bloopers afterwards if you want to stick around and watch those. But other than that, I hope you're having an amazing day wherever you are. I really hope I got you to smile or giggle during this video because that is really the reason why I make these. If you enjoyed the video, consider liking it. And if you want to, subscribe to my channel. I post a video every week. Enjoy your weekend and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye. Oh, what's, what's wrong? What's wrong? Is something wrong? Security is going to you out of here. Okay. Nice. I'm Will Smith in this bush. It's all wiggly and everything. <laughs> mm. Oh, some milk chocolate. I love milk chocolate, dude. Come on. Come on. 24 large bars. Come on. Damn it. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> <laughs> All I saw when I read that was a access. <laughs> I gotta get my mind out of the gutter. Holy shnikes. <laughs>